And, you know, we saw it, a rainy start to the day, but we're drying out. KCON News meteorologist Paul Deano is back with your next weather forecast. And, Paul, I got to say, I love when it rains overnight and then the sun comes Perfect out in the morning. Perfect timing. I love that. Yeah, now that the lunch hour in the afternoon, we have an isolated shower chance, but the majority of the rain is finished. So we got what we needed, and Mother Nature has scooted that front out of here. We needed some snow in the mountains. They've been making snow for a couple weeks, wonderful snow-making weather. But Mother Nature provided snow before this storm at Big Bear Snow Valley, one inch of snow for the entire season through last night. Last season through the same time frame, we had 30 inches of snow. So we were running way behind. Big Bear could get up to six inches of Mother Nature provided snowfall uh, with this one storm. For the season now, Los Angeles officially downtown, three and a third inches of rain. Average is a little bit more than four. So we're doing fine when it comes to rain. 80% of average for the water year, and we have a lot of water year still to go. Here's what I expect this afternoon. We're going to have all this cold, unstable air rushing in where it has the opportunity to bank up against a mountain range. These are the Santa Ana in Orange County, we could see a few showers in our higher elevations. That's the one spot where that is happening right now. The rest of us are enjoying partly to mostly sunny skies. The front has moved through, the rain is gone, and the mountains look spectacular. Look at all of that snowfall. Kind of a Christmas scene a week, week and a half after Christmas. A steady rain out of here. A couple showers possible mixed in with the sunshine. For the next several days, no new storms coming, but mornings are going to be cold. Afternoons are going to be brisk, and as a weather system passes by to our east on Sunday, it's going to reinforce the cold air and keep us below average likely for the next 10 days. 7 to 10 foot waves likely at our L.A. County beaches this afternoon through tomorrow, 7 to 12 feet in Ventura County. We have a high surf advisory there. Big Bear, they're loving it today. It's 32 degrees with sunshine fresh off of that snowfall. Long Beach, 63 degrees with sunshine. Fullerton, Santa Ana, you're warming up to 62, but still brisk in Simi Valley, 56. Lancaster are only 51 and pretty cloudy in San Bernardino 52 degrees Orange County this afternoon not warm low 60s that's it but you will be mainly sunny we have some cold air filtering in behind the storm the boundary itself is now over and just past Las Vegas and heading toward Phoenix and Flagstaff so the rain we had this morning is gone there may be a few showers in the foothills but notice we have more sunshine than anything else watch out tonight up around uh, the grapevine Along the five on the northern slopes of the San Gabriels and Ventura County Mountains, we could see some snow showers. Otherwise, sunshine tomorrow morning and tomorrow afternoon, but a brisk day with highs only in the low 60s. And we look long range all the way out now to mid-January, and we are still likely to be cooler than average more than anything else. So not that stormy, but it will be chilly. Overnight lows in the 40s in Los Angeles for the next couple of days. Now, you notice that rain icon on Sunday. There is a small chance of a few showers on Sunday morning, but the legacy of that will be another push of that cool air, keeping us in the 60s for highs all the way through the middle of next week. That's your KCAL forecast. Back to you. All right, Paul, thanks so much. CBS News Los Angeles, your local news, streaming wherever, whenever.